Greetings, I'm Professor Dever, the Chair of the Biology Department at the University of San Francisco, and I'm happy to welcome you, our newest members, to the Biology Department. The Biology Bachelor of Science degree program is designed to prepare you for a wide variety of careers in the life sciences. Let me say we have an excellent faculty and staff here to support you. And although we are online, we are still here for you 100%. The biology department professors have a huge amount of experience teaching students and conducting biological research. And they're very excited that you have chosen USF as your new home. In this video, I will cover the following topics that are each detailed in the biology information document that you uh, were emailed. But here, I'm just gonna give you a, an overview of the following topics. First of all, uh, biology course requirements. Second, advising and how you can get help from the faculty for course registration. Third, biology department course policies. Fourth, future research opportunities for you as a student in the department. And fifth, student organizations you might be interested in. So first up, the biology course requirements. Students always wanna know what classes do I need to take in order to graduate within the four year time period. The major requires approximately 65 units and it's divided into lower and upper division classes and in a specific order. These include two semesters of general biology and cell physiology. There are also key supporting chemistry classes you must take, which are two semesters of general chemistry and organic chemistry. Upon completing cell physiology, students can then take genetics, and genetics is required for all of the upper division classes. The upper division classes encompass 25 units, and they must include at least one field class, such as biology of insects, or marine mammals. There are also two additional lab classes or field classes. The lab classes are classes such as microbiology or parasitology. And another class is required that can be either a lecture only class such as molecular biology or the field class or lab class designation. Biology majors must also complete a one unit research seminar. And then the final year, you will take the capstone class, Evolution. Additional supporting classes that are required include the math class, which is biostatistics, and two semesters of physics. As you can see, our major uh, provides you with a strong foundation for the majority of common prerequisites for future graduate programs. Many of you are interested in a career in the health profession, and therefore, I just wanna give you a brief little information about pre-professional health advising. We have a pre-professional health advisor on staff. Her name is Marie Dutton. Please make an appointment with her to discuss your pathway. It's also important to note that students in the major can uh, focus on a particular concentration. We have two of those. We have the molecular concentration and we have the ecology concentration. More detailed information about these concentrations are provided in the information packet and you can also speak to your advisor about these for further information. Second, let's talk about advising. Each of you have been assigned a faculty advisor in the biology department. Hopefully, you've already successfully registered for your fall classes. If you haven't, you have until the first week of class to do so, and you should contact your faculty advisor. You can find out who this person is through your MyUSF account. Every semester from here on out, you will meet with your faculty advisor during pre-registration. The first and second year students must do this in order to get their advising holds lifted. 
Therefore, if you don't meet with your biology faculty advisor, you won't be able to register for classes. We really recommend that you map out your own four-year plan and discuss this with your advisor. Definitely checking in on a regular basis to make sure that you are on track. Your advisor can also mentor you on a career path and um, also be a source of information about potential internships or research opportunities. The third important topic I want to talk about in this video is our course policies. So um, for the department, we do have some important things that you always have to remember. Most important, all of the required biology classes, uh, students must earn a C or higher in order to, to progress in the major. If you earn a C minus or lower, then you will have to retake the class. And we do allow students to retake a class, but you can only retake it one time. Uh, if you withdraw from a class, that also counts, and therefore you can only withdraw from a class and retake it one time. Uh, if for some reason you happen to get a progress report during the mid-semester that indicates you're not doing well, this is the time that you need to really meet with your instructor first to find out how you can improve your scores, and then also check in with your advisor to see what your best option might be. Sometimes it is best to go ahead and withdraw from a class, sometimes it's not, but that's what your advisor will help you to decide. You can retake up to two classes throughout your major, but no more. If you have to retake a third class, you will be disqualified from the biology major. Students oftentimes want to know, can I take a class at another university, say over the summer or during break? The University of San Francisco has a pretty strict policy about this. They require all of the classes that you must take for your major or your minor or your core to be taken at the University of San Francisco. They do allow for rare exceptions, specifically for studying abroad. And so if you want to do this, you must fill out a form and get it approved beforehand. And you can get more information about how to do this from your advisor. The fourth topic I wanted to talk about briefly is um, future research opportunities. So here at USF, we pride ourselves in the fact that we do have a lot of opportunities for students to engage in uh, research in our labs. Of course, due to COVID-19, this is on hold right now. So what I'm talking about is, you know, in the future, uh, what you should do is you should check out all of the faculty bios on the website to find out the kinds of research projects they're engaged in and go ahead and email them and ask them for more information about that. By assisting faculty in their labs, you get an opportunity to see what science is like firsthand. It can also lead to you graduating with honors in the department if you choose to do a thesis on your research project. We do too have opportunities often posted um, for research positions at UCSF and other nearby labs. You can find out more about that on the USF Canvas site. To become enrolled in the USF Department Canvas site, please email Dr. Kerentz and she will add you to the class. Fifth, I wanted to talk briefly about the student organizations you might be interested in most. So in addition to your academic endeavors, you should also get involved in extracurricular activities. It's important to become an engaged member of your community, and it's a great way to meet other people in uh, both biology majors as well as other majors in the university. In conclusion, I just want to say that the biology major is a challenging one, but a very rewarding one. Our graduates have gone on to be successful in a variety of careers and the key to success as a biology student is meeting frequently with your instructors, asking lots of questions, reaching out your hand when you need help because we really want to help you succeed in your classes. And just know that we are here to support you 100% to be the best biology student you can possibly be. And although we're not here in person this semester, 
Hopefully we will be soon, but in the meantime, email us frequently, join all the Zoom sessions you can that the department's gonna host um, throughout the semester, and try to stay connected as best as possible. In the meantime, remember, ask questions and be engaged, and welcome to the University of San Francisco Biology Department. Thanks, and have a great day.